All right, this uh, question is a review of a lot of the basics of um, what you should understand from qua uh, quadratic equations. Um, and so, uh, quadratics, and so we've got y equals negative 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 12. And first of all, what shape the graph will be? It's going to be a parabola. And the vertex, and remember in vertex form, uh, our h is 2 and our k is 12, so the vertex is going to be 2, 12. The direction of the opening is now a is negative 3, so a is negative, so it's going to open um, downward. And since the vertex is 2, 12, then the axis of symmetry is going to be the x-coordinate at the vertex. So here, the axis of symmetry is going to be x equals 2. And the equation of a function that's congruent to this one, it's any, you can pick anything you want. So y is equal to any uh, quadratic equation where a is negative 3. So you could have anything like y equals negative 3x squared plus 7. Anything like that, or even just y equals negative 3x squared, it's going to have the same shape as um, this this um, this parabola. It's, and another one would be y equals 3x squared. This would have the same uh, shape as uh, y, y equals negative 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 12, except that this one would open upward. So it would just be um, uh, flipped over. Now, since this opens downward, it's going to have a maximum value. And the value of the x and y, when it's a maximum or a minimum, well, that's our vertex. So again, that's 2 and 12. The y-intercept, remember, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. And so if we sub in for x equals 0, so this is h, y equals negative 3 times 0 minus 2 squared plus 12. And so we're going to simplify. And so this is going to be negative 2 squared, because 0 minus 2 is negative 2. I'll go through all the steps. Plus 12. So y is equal to negative 3 times 4 plus 12. And this is equal to negative 12 plus 12, which is 0. All right, so the y-intercept is going to be at 0, 0. So this, is gonna, this parabola is going to pass through the origin. And that's actually going to give us one of the answers in i, because remember, if we're looking for the x-intercepts, that's where y is equal to 0. So we know that one of our answers has to be 0, 0, because that's what we found in h. So um, let's take a look at if we're going to um, look at the points where y is 0. This is going to be equal to negative 0. So we're subbing in for sorry y equals 0 into our original equation. So 0 is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 12. So now we're going to simplify. And if we expand, x, if we do x minus 2 squared, and I'm going to use um, the shortcut because this is a binomial squared, it's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 12. And this is all equal to 0. And 0 is equal to, which we expand here, negative 3x squared minus, that's squared, minus 4x minus 12. So we've just expanding here and multiplying 3 times negative, 3 times x, negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 4x is, and I've made a mistake here. <laughs> Yeah, 
and good idea to go back and check. So negative 3 times negative 4x is um, positive 12x. Then negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12. And then we still have the plus 12. So when we simplify all this, we end up with negative 3x squared plus 12x is equal to 0. Now, we're going to factor, find the greatest common factor here, and the greatest common factor is negative 3x. And when we factor out negative 3x, we're left with x minus 4 equals 0. Now, the two values that are going to make this uh, equation true is we could sub in 0 here because negative 3 times 0 is 0. And then with anything that's in the bracket, multiply. Uh, if we multiply 0 by anything in the bracket, it comes out to be 0. So x equals 0 is one solution. And if x is 4, then x minus 4 would be equal to 0. So x is equal to 4. So then our x-intercepts are going to be 0, 0, which we expected from the beginning of the question, and 4, 0.